Let's head back to the After Trade Show for more behind-the-scenes action. When it comes to fishing, I get excited from time to time, especially when it comes to lures. Have a look at this. This is what they call the frog lure. Is that right, Jason? Yep, that's a hard leg frog, is that one? Hard legs, even though it looks a little bit flimsy to me. But anyway, I'm not going to hold that against him. Have a look at all these lures around. This is, this is exciting stuff. It that's is. We've, we've pretty much got everything from prawns to frogs to grubs to swimmers, all sorts of things, so that what it, no matter what species people are chasing or where they're fishing, we've got a Z-Man that they can catch a fish on. Z-Man. So these are what we call them, the Z-Mans. Now, yep. Tell me about it, okay? Because obviously I can see what it is. H how does it work? And as yep. opposed to chucking like a, what, a worm or a live bait on, yep. how good are these? Difference with a, like people, a lot of people go out and they sit there and they bait fish and that sort of thing. The trouble is you're waiting for the fish to come to you. Whereas you throw a lure on there, you go out there, you work it, you flick it around, you target structure where the fish are going to be. So you, you cover a lot more ground, you find a lot more fish. Okay, all right. Yeah. And different different things, different animals, different yeah. fish, obviously. The, um, yeah, yeah, like your frogs, people will buzz them for a barramundi and pretty much everything eats a prawn. So depending on what species you're targeting, you know, we do an EMAG online that people can go and have a look and, and learn about what, what lures to use where. And it's also, it's, um, it's a different material to normal plastics. So normal plastics are generally fairly stiff, whereas this is an elastic material, so it's really soft and flexible. So you get maximum action out of your lure and also yeah, right, you can it's, tie it around um, your head. Ten times tougher than a standard soft plastic, so yeah, if you forget your belt, you can keep Use your pants up and Perfect. all good. Uh... They come in handy, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you said, uh, you know, buzz across the water. So I'm assuming this doesn't go under the water, it sits across the top? It does. Just like what a frog does? Z-Man material will float as well, so with that there, with the light hook in, it'll actually float it, so you can buzz it, and the legs kick along on the top like a normal frog, pause it near a weed bed or something, and boof, a barra comes up and eats it. All right, so for your average Joe Blow, just like myself, run me through it. How, how, where do these ideas come from to yep. do something like that? Yeah, we, um, we get a lot of requests from anglers, and, and one thing that we did find was with the, um, the Z-Man plastics is they're a lot softer, so they don't stay on the jig head quite as well. You've got to put a dob of glue on. So what we did, we invented the Headlocks jig head, which is a new one, and it's actually got a split grip on the grub keeper of the jig head that's designed to lock that softer plastic in place. And that stops it from falling back. Stops it from falling back so they can cast it hard, they can work it hard and that sort of thing. And it actually won us uh, the after award for terminal tackle oh, this year. Go. So best terminal tackle for the show this year. So we're pretty stoked with that. Unbelievable. See, when I walk into a shop and I just see these lures, I kind of go, oh yeah, I'm not really sure what I'd what I'd need, what I want for. Is it is it easy to work out what, what you need, what lure for what job or what you're trying to catch? Yep. I would I'd, the advice I'd give to anyone that wants to go and try lures for the first time. Grab yourself a packet of Z-Man 3-inch minnows and go and chase flathead because they're one of the easiest fish to target. So you can just look for the end of the run out tide, find some drains and gutters, quarter ounce 3 OTT jig head and just flick it around. Just let it make sure it's on the bottom, give it a few twitches, make sure it's hitting the bottom and, and you'll catch flathead. So that gives you a bit of a taste. So say if you've yep. never used lures before, that kind of gives you a bit of a taste yep. of what kind of experience, how yep. they work. Flathead are a great place to start and as long as that soft plastic's bumping the bottom every now and then, the flathead lays in the bo on the bottom and waiting for the, the bait to go past, jumps up and grabs it. Okay, so. so as I'm standing here now, I've just seen so much going on. Give me a bit of a general rundown of, of kind of, you know, What's the difference between as opposed to something like that as opposed to something in my hand or yep. you know, all the other ones that have got dangly little legs on them and stuff like that as well? Yep, you'll find some, some lures will have like a curly tail like that one or they'll have a paddle tail and that's designed to have action built into the lure. So good for beginners, you can just throw it out there, start winding and you'll look in the water like you do in the tank there and the tail's going away. Yeah. So it's doing all the work awesome. for them. As they get more experienced, a lot of anglers will go for something like that which has just got a straight tail or the prawn doesn't have a lot of action of its own and as you get better with working the rod and knowing what the fish want you can try a few things and actually impart your own action into the lure. Okay. So, so some days the fish are real angry, they want, you know, they might want an aggressive retrieve, sometimes they're sitting there sulking and the weather's not good and they, they want something nice and subtle. And then the fishermen start to sulk as well when yeah, they're going to have when the bike gets stuck. Justin the lure man, he is the man when it comes to lures and as I said you guys have won awards as well and you've got a great display. Did you win an uh, award we did. for the display? We did, we won best medium stand for the show as well. Best medium stand as well, it's, it definitely doesn't get any better than that. Well we have met some great people here at the trade show. Justin, thanks mate, Thank I might you. go out there and go see if I can catch myself some yep. ladies. Awesome to catch up and we'll see you on the water.
Now I've been for a surf for about 16 and a half years. Here we go, look out. This is my fold away surf rods. Now, when it comes to surf fishing, it doesn't get any bigger than Alvin. Now, next to me, Brucey boy, how are you, mate? Yes, good, good Joel. Yes. Uh, this rod, as you see, this folds down just like that, nice and compact, straight into the boot of your car, no problems whatsoever. But I'm not going to, you know, take the focus away from you guys because it's as phenomenal stuff that we've got here today. Tell us a little bit about it, from the reels to the rods to whatever you want to do. Yeah, Joel. Well, anyway, welcome to the our national tackle industry show that we have once a year here on the Gold Coast. We've had something like over 200 retail shops turn up this year, Massive. bringing their staff to come and have a look at all the latest products in the tackle industry. That's mm -hmm. what it's about. Hopefully the shops come and have a look at the latest gear, they take it back and then all their customers get to see and shows like yours where we're promoting the new products. Yep. Everyone goes along to the local tackle shop there and uh, buys the latest products. So checks out. So the, the main uh, theory I guess behind this is so people can come have a look at all these new products here in the market and then obviously take the way with them or into their shops or vice versa and yeah, everything else. And, and nearly all the guys here always have a few specials on for the customers so they've spent a lot of money to come up to the show in a lot of cases from you know, we've got people here from Western Australia, Tasmania so it's nice to have a few specials at the place. show. Yeah, yeah fantastic. So, yeah. All right, so let's get down to the real nitty gritty stuff because like I said, yeah. I'm a surfer for 16 and a half years. I've, when it comes to beach fishing, that's pretty much me. Yeah. So, right. uh, and I'm just looking at this stuff and my ears are pricking up and getting very excited. So uh, yeah, what do what we yeah, got? Yeah, well, as, as we see here today, this uh, the LV Sidecast Reel has been around since 1920 and we've got a massive range here of all different sizes and shapes to go with different rods. The rod you're holding is a latest little 10 foot 6 light surf rod mm -hmm. that allows, as you said, the guys to carry a nice light surf outfit in the boot of their car to go with their light. So that's brand new at the show, this one. Yep. Uh, we've got some other new products here at the show. We've got some uh, what are called snap-on sinkers and they're in a new colour which is Lumo now, so it glows in the dark, you just charge it up with a torch before you put it on at night. Yeah, right, oh, so for night, yeah, purely yeah. designed for night fishing. But the, the trick of these little sinkers are that you don't have to cut your line to put them on. They snap on with a little clip and you just put them on or off. People use them for deep sea fishing, for running down live bait mm -hmm. and uh, lots of uses, but the best thing is uh, as we're all getting a bit older and find it harder to tie knots on very fine. I find fishing it hard line. anyway. The best yeah. of times, let alone it's day or night. So these so things. So these are great. little characters allow you to just have your rig kept the one way, tied yep. up, and you just snap on or snap off whichever size sinker you want. Great. Um, very handy. This is our latest little uh, blackfish float reel, mm -hmm. which was released last year, and we've released uh, a a blackfish rod to go with this reel at the show today. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the gentleman's taken the only sample we've no, got that's with him right. away. No, you probably want to go give it a bit uh, of a test out. But you know, yeah, we've had a wonderful day, response yeah. from yeah. that. Okay, so fantastic. Uh, there are a couple of other things we're looking at. We have our, uh, we were asked to look at a, uh, a more modern Alvi, so we as opposed we've, to I guess, the more traditional gotcha. ones. So yep. this is one with super duper model that we've made up out of an aluminium oh. spool. Yep. And the on the back we've got laser cut components to make it look nice. Wow. And yes, so, so we've had a lot of good feedback. For everyone that. at home, now the difference, major difference, I'm guessing between that Alvi and this one. What, what's your major difference? Just material. Just material. Yeah. So is it looks, like buying a, a Toyota good. as opposed to like a BMW yes. or a Mercedes? Yeah. No, that's, there we it's, go. It's, it's just looks the Rolls the Royce of the reels. Yes, definitely. Money. Well, we're also looking at a. Uh, possibility of many people have got their their dads or their grandfather's timber reels at home yep. so uh, a lot of people have asked us over the years when are you going to do a, a uh, retro reel as yeah a, as a very a popular these days thing. we're going so, in the cycle of back to the retro stage so we're looking that's some uh, uh, we've had made up for us and again using laser cut material which yep. is similar to the old cast brass backs that uh, used to be mm -hmm. and using a nice these are made out of 200 year old red cedar and uh, they got, so they'll be look at doing a limited edition yep. to uh, see what uh, interest was. And again, people say, yeah, it's not one you're going to sell millions of, but collectors will be looking. Oh. Now, and this is for the campers in the in the um, world. This is a brand new design product. A lot of people know when you're putting a fly up, and you have to put the poles up. You need somebody to hold the pole yeah. while you get all the ropes ready. Well, with this little gadget, you take this new style tent peg and a tool we've made, 
fits over that. Mm -hmm. Bash that with a hammer. You put your fingers back here, see that bash yeah, them. Yeah, lose your thumb. And then as soon as that's bashed into the collar, that's on the ground, you put your tent pole on there. Straight on. And then the tent pole just stands there on its own and you can go and put your ropes and connect your tarp It's only a one-man job. One-man one job. job. Yeah, yeah. But on the other side, you can use it when you're setting a tent up mm -hmm. and it makes the tent a lot more stable because the if you get any wind lift, the, the pole has to lift all that way okay. before it comes off. So, so pretty much got everything at this yeah, kind of show. Yeah. yeah. So not just, uh, not well, just your fishing, a bit of no, everything. No, no, well, we, we manufacture these as well. So Perfect. we, we okay. do a, a yeah. little range of camping equipment, which yeah. is all tied into the beach fishing of side. Of course it is, yeah. yeah. And yeah, so that's a new part of our business. Okay, fantastic. Okay, now just on a different note, how long have you guys been around for? Uh, not, since 1920. We're 1920. Up to four generations. My brother and I. So you definitely know running. your reels. So it was our great grandfather started it. Yeah. yeah. We're still here. Going strong. Fantastic. Okay. It's great to have you on board. Thank you Thanks for visiting us today. <laughs> right. We'll catch up with Joel later in the show. Right now, let's head over to the Brisbane Water Police for another safety tip. Hi, welcome back to the Brisbane Water Police. I'm Senior Constable Belinda Gapes and today I'm going to have a chat to you about some flares. When you purchase your flares, you'll buy them in a shop in a bag like this. You'll find that there's two handheld red flares and two orange smoke flares and these are the requirements for Queensland for a recreational boat. Now when you purchase them, they have a three year life from the date of manufacturing, so make sure you check your manufacturer estate so that you're getting the most out of your, your flares when you first buy them. We like to store our flares in a watertight canister like this because if they get wet, we can't guarantee that they're going to work. At the end of your three years, take these into your volunteer marine rescue organisation or even drop them into the water police and we'll dispose of them correctly.